What's up, everybody? Welcome to A Beer Day with TK. It is Monday evening here in Finley, Ohio, and I've made it back indoors. I'm in the kitchen having a beer. Uh, the beer that I'm going to review today is German Chocolate Cake Imperial Milk Stout. It's a mouthful, a lot of words, from the George Weidman Brewing Company, and they're located in Cincinnati, Ohio. So if I read this can here, it said, Weidman's beer dates to 1870 when George Weidman crossed over the Ohio River and first brewed his German lagers in Newport, Kentucky, then quickly gained favor, and his upstart brewery grew and prospered even during Prohibition. He prospered during Prohibition. That's probably not great, huh? Out-of-town owners eventually shut down the Newport operations in 1983, but diehard local fans with loyalty that runs generations deep refused to let it go. A new locally owned uh, Weidemann Brewery opened in 2018, reviving its famed Bohemian Special Brew, along with many other tasty and innovative craft beers. We invite you to enjoy this 150-year-old tradition and share in Weidemann's proud history of world-class brewing. Try it and you'll agree. George would have been proud to call it his own. Brewed and canned by George Weidemann Brewing Company, Cincinnati, Ohio, U.S. of A. So, German chocolate cake imperial milk stout it's got a lot going on there on the can along the bottom imperial stout milk stout with coconut chocolate lactose added and this is coming in at 10 percent abv 10 percent 10 percent is a big boy beer huh uh nothing else of value now before i check the beer out i do want to mention how i purchased this i went to the local beer shop and i saw these sitting on the shelf for i think it was 14.99 I went to pick it up and quickly realized it was, in fact, a two-pack. A two-pack. I have never seen this one before. Um, I know the four-packs became popular for a while there. Apparently, we're working backwards. Now we're doing two-packs. It kind of reminds me, if you ever go to England or Europe, uh, in England, you always have cigarettes, right? Like a normal pack of cigarettes. They have these little, like, 10-cigarette half packets or whatever they are. That's apparently where we are beer-wise in the U.S. So two of these was 15 bucks. I went to the website to see what else they have going on at the, I'm not sure if it's Weidemann or Widman, um, at, the, the, at the brewery. And it looks like they are open. They do have food, look like regular kind of pub fare. They had wings, they had some pizzas, burgers, all that kind of stuff. Um, beers, had some interesting ones. Had a creamsicle milkshake IPA, blood orange blonde. And then I guess they have some um, kind of like specialty beers they do seasonally. This is one of them. Uh, another one, I know they had a Bach beer coming out, and a Cinnabon Coffee Blonde Ale. Sounds interesting. So, as far as this beer goes, on Untapped, um, I think there was about 1,200 ratings. It had a 4.01. As far as Beer Advocate, I couldn't find this one listed on Beer Advocate. Um, I don't know if I was looking it up incorrectly. There were about a billion uh, beers that were German chocolate cake, so maybe I just didn't find it. Uh, but it didn't appear to show up on beer advocate in any way shape or form so let's check it out today i'm going to go in with the bowling green beer works glass Just trying to pour this aggressively and get some kind of head hmm, not much so as far as color obviously dark dark brown verging on black the head is dark it's brown Tan, the darker side of tan, brownish. It looks nice now that it's kind of settled a wee bit. Um, see a lot of, of bubbles along the side of the of the glass there, but can't really tell what's going on inside. Um, honestly, I think that head kind of saved itself. I thought it looked quite weak there, but now it looks all right. It looks a little more, more palatable. Smell. Pick up the chocolate, obviously. Honestly, it smells like a like sweet, like sweet chocolate. I guess maybe the lactose. You pick up the coconut. Um, kind of not sure what to what I expect from this. Coconut's another flavor I'm not a huge fan of. If you do it right, it's okay, but they taste fake or they overpower you, power you with it. I'm not a fan. All right, let's go in. Let's check it out. Cheers. First things first, that tastes like I just ate a piece of cake. Um, that's quite thick. I don't know how you feel about your stouts, but if I drink a stout and the thing is watery, it just, even if it tastes perfect, if it has that super thin body, you lose me to some extent. 
This here is like eating a piece of cake. This is thick, chewy, the way I expect a stout to taste or, or the body on it to be. As far as the taste, you definitely pick up the chocolate. You pick up the sweetness from the lactose. I think you get a little bit of vanilla in there. Yeah. And you do taste the coconut. The coconut's kind of like more on the back of your palate or whatever. Um, it's, it's funny. You don't taste the coconut up front. Now I have that taste in my mouth like coconut. It's not bad, though. Look at that. That's like a, a dessert beer there, man. Again, 10%. I don't think you really taste the alcohol. I think it's it's masked quite well in this. Um, you could probably find yourself in trouble drinking these. Because, I mean, it's not a, you can't pound it out. It's a little thicker than that. But this goes down nice and smooth. It's got a nice um, velvety feel to it. The, it. Really, everything about it's quite nice. I was a little apprehensive after that initial pour when the head looked kind of slight, but that's a gamer right there, man. That's good. Um, German chocolate cake, Imperial Milk Stout, Weidman or Weidman's Brewing Company, Cincinnati, Ohio. You get a thumbs up. I would definitely drink another one of these. Um, I know it threw me off. There's only a two pack, but maybe it's worth it. I like it. So, George Weidman, big thumbs up. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, please hit subscribe. And as always, if you have any comments or questions, jump in down below. For my Cincinnati people, if I'm mispronouncing this name, let me know. Also, if you had that Cinnabon Coffee Blonde, let me know what you think about that. Hey, cheers. Until next time, have a wonderful week.